Welcome to the uh, Chef Boy IB cooking channel. Sometimes frequented by Skillet Skidoo to assist. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chef Boy IB cooking channel. Today we're going to make a real quick and easy, very appealing appetizer that you can serve as a, a side item for, you know, a meal or uh, even a lunch item if you want. And it, it goes really well with any type of event you may have, a birthday party, a shower of some sort, or, you know, just a... Uh, even a holiday gathering, a sporting event, whatever you want. Just it's a it's a nice twist on a very familiar, um, very well known dish. Uh, pinwheels. A lot of people use ham, turkey, different kind of lunch meats, and roll them up in, into pinwheels. But this one is one that I call the pepper pepperoni pinwheel. So the items that we're going to use are, as you can see here. We're using tortilla. I got flour tortillas. You can use corn. You can use wheat. Whatever you, whatever type you prefer. I just happen to have flour burrito-sized tortillas. That's what we're going with today. You're also going to need uh, some cream cheese spread. Um, you can buy it in the sticks or the tub, whichever. Um, you're also going to use about oh I don't know maybe a maybe a half of a small red onion, about two stalks of green onion, about a half of a red bell pepper. Red bell peppers are fantastic in all kinds of dishes. They've got really, really good flavor, so really, really good for this. About one half of a green bell pepper. And I've got about, you can see here, I don't know if you can see, it's a pretty thin slice, just uh, sliced pepperoni. I've probably got about eight or ten thin slices there. You can buy them already packaged and sliced or you can go ahead and buy the, the stick itself and you know slice your own but I went with these because they're really thin and just a lot easier to work with for this specific dish. So let me get this all prepared. We'll be right back. I'll show you how to draw all this together. So be right back. Stick around guys. Okay everybody welcome back. As you can see here, I've taken and I've diced up all the vegetables and also the pepperoni. I got the red onions all diced up, nice and tiny, little pieces. Pepperoni, the green onion, red bell pepper, and the green bell pepper. I've also taken the flour tortilla shell and I have added. Uh, I've put the, the the soft cream cheese. I've spread it across it, so just very lightly coated. Hope you can see that nice and clear. Just very light. You don't need a lot. Um, just and then all you're going to do now is take your ingredients here, spread it evenly around your your tortilla shell, and roll it up. When you're done with that, um, a couple other ingredients I for, forgot to mention that that I put on is. Uh, Actually, if you had fresh cilantro, it would be it would be better. But I don't have fresh cilantro right now. I just used the last of it in a different recipe. But I've got cilantro leaves in the herb. You sprinkle that on top once you get everything spread out evenly. And also, just for a little bit of a kick, just a little bit of paprika. Um, the last time I did these, I also included bacon. I fried up bacon and I crumbled that up really small about the same size as these portions for these uh, these diced vegetables and pepperoni here and that was an incredible blend so um, I also threw in a little bit of chopped up lettuce which you can do if you like but this time I'm just going with what I have here I'm skipping the bacon but bacon is phenomenal included with this so you can give that a try if you like too so I'll spread this around, be right back, show you what it looks like right before we roll it, and then we'll show you the final thing. So, be right back, guys. Let me evenly spread this around here. OK, 
Okay, everybody, as you can see, I've still got enough here for two, at least uh, for one, one more really heavy loaded up uh, roll, and probably two. And if you use it, you can also use smaller shells too, as well. So I'm remember I'm using the big burrito size wrap here. So these tortilla shells, you can get the smaller shells, and you can get like four servings out of these or four, four of these wraps. But here's what it looks like once everything is on there. And I've already put the herbs on there too. Now like I said, bacon really, really takes this an extra step as far as texture and um, flavor. So keep that in mind too. It's really, I, I really wish I would have done some bacon on here too, but a little rush for time today. So kind of skip that stuff, but it really does make a huge difference in taste. But these are still going to be phenomenal. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but all you're going to do is lightly roll. Actually, the last time I did these two, I took the shell, the tortilla shell, and I just placed it on the stove top, on the burner, and just lit the burner, and just heated it up on each side, did one side, turned it over, did the other side. Just enough to warm it up, it gives it another little texture to it. Now, that's it. All right, there you go. Now you can cut these into thin slices, you know, quarter inch or a half inch or, you know, so slices, and actually create the pinwheels. You can also, eat it just as is like a burrito but one thing that's a really good tip for you take this done when it's done you got it all wrapped up like this place it in the refrigerator for all oh, 10 or 15 minutes just give it time to set up a little bit it will make it a lot easier to cut when you cut it and you'll get nice clean even slices instead of tearing the tortilla shell so there it is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and make a couple more of these but give this a try guys I think you're gonna like it let me cut into this real quick I'm gonna skip the refrigeration part just so you can see what it looks like on the inside I'll just try and cut it real easy right down the middle here you don't have to refrigerate it but like I said it's a lot easier if you do and there you go. That's it, folks. Pepper, pepperoni, pinwheel. Pepper, pepperoni, pinwheel, people. Say that ten times fast. But they're really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and cut this up again. So I can show you guys what the actual pinwheel port part looks like. Hopefully, not being refrigerated is not going to be too much of a problem for me here. But you can see it coming out the sides a little bit here. But see what I mean? It's falling apart on me. If you throw this in the fridge, it'll set up. You won't have that problem. But there's a little snack size you know appetizer you can lay out lay them around your plate nice cut them up in little slices like that or like I said you can just have it as like a burrito size but that's it everyone pepper pepperoni pinwheel don't forget the bacon the bacon it just it really rocks these the flavor the different texture great great flavor like I said in the fridge 10 15 minutes maybe maybe 20 minutes just enough time to set it up makes it a little easier to cut into um, if you want to eat it like a burrito you can even warm it up a little bit but it's fine just how it is it should be eaten just how it is but some people do warm them up a little but there it is hope you guys try it hope you like it let me know if you do with a comment and uh, as always you know, I appreciate you guys watching the videos and coming back supporting the channel.
a final look, people. Does that not scream out delicious to you? Look at that. Let's get in here and look at this. Yeah. That's some wrapped up goodness right there. Give it a try, you guys. You're going to like it. It's healthy for you. It's good. It's a nice snack. It's a nice appetizer. Great for all kind of events, but most important, this one tastes good, people. It's simple to make. It, it's really a great, great opportunity for your taste buds, so give it a try. There it is. Stick to the end of the video. Recipe ingredients, as always, and, you know, just remember, keep on cooking with a chef boy I'd be. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Keep cooking with a Chef Boy IB cooking channel.